Um, what do we think, uh, Luna? Should we um, should we do some uh, some card readings? Yeah, you read my mind. Ah, it's time. You know, we're half, we're 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 past halfway, and I have my my thought deck here, and uh, I have an extra camera on the table. Lovely. Oh, that looks amazing. Yeah, with the. Uh, the energy of the Vec Vizier and my Mousy. <laughs> and I'm gonna gonna shuffle the cards now. And um well, let's do a full reading. Yeah. Let's um let's let's do a full reading. Um I'll um I'll put the cards here. Um I've been thinking about what, what should the reading be about today. And um, we're all, you know, we're all looking forward to a new year and we're all looking forward to a, a year with, um, yeah, with less problems. Um, where there's two major wars going on in our, in our, in our, in our direct atmosphere. There's uh, of course, big things, um, Big things happening with uh, with climate change and 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 everything, uh, so there's there's a lot going on in our lives, and so I I would like to to to, to do a reading that everybody could relate to. So that's that's the importance of it, and um, find uh, happiness and inner peace. Find happiness and inner peace in a time of war, in a time of uh, all kinds of environmental uh, challenges. Uh, even in a time of political unrest, unrest between people, um, with with uh, hotels burning when when they're earmarked for refugees and stuff like that, so all kinds of crazy things going on. What what can we do to to improve our lives? So I'll do five cards. This card is the card representing the situation. This is. Uh, the challenge or the obstacle. This card represents the subconscious influences. This card represents the past. And this card represents the outcome. So the first card we pulled is the Princess of Swords. The Prince of Swords, a youthful, a youthful energy, going for truth, going for understanding. Uh, she's full of ideas and communication. She defends her castle, and you can even see that she's in a situation with with smoke and fires and 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 unrest. And she is she's defending her castle. Uh, she seeks for knowledge. She seeks for the truth. She seeks to find understanding the situation, understanding the situation between her and the other people. Um, so it doesn't necessarily point to struggle, but more to um, a state of intellectual activity, communication. Um, it's a person who is observant, analytical, and critical, and sharp uh, in their thinking. So that's the Princess of Swords. That's where we are, and the energy of the Princess of Swords. And it's actually it's quite to the point. Uh, for the reading, because it's uh, it's a situation of of how do I how do I tell what's playing within me? How do I tell what's playing in my life? The second card is the Three of Cups, abundance, and it would, should should represent a challenge. Uh, the abundance card is generally a very positive card. It's uh, it's about celebrating celebrating life, celebrating friendship, celebrating. The winter solstice and Christmas and uh, uh, New Year's Eve and New Year, all these things. And why is it in this position as an obst obstacle and as a challenge? So uh, here it says, when we think about what we think about, all the all the challenges, uh, all the situations in our lives, uh, should we then not also um, like I said, 
earlier, uh, be be a bit a bit of a bit bit more of a hermit, and don't get carried away on social media. Don't get carried away on the festivities. Feast, be abundant with 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 each other, but be mindful about be mindful about the world we live in, and understand that uh, what we have and what you have is not. Um, is is not for it's it's not available for everybody. There are people suffering there, so balance it out a little. And like I said earlier, take good care of yourself because when you take good care of yourself, you can you can take good care of others as well. So that's it's it's not it's not saying you shouldn't do celebrate, you shouldn't go there, but just be mindful about about what you celebrate. Your 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 don't distract your inner journey from your uh, social social um, and 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 uh, social aspects the next card the third card that's the subconscious influences and this this is a a weird card in this position it's uh, the card is called strife so it it it, it talks about competition fights uh Mercury retrograde <laughs> with, with with Christmas when, <laughs> like we said last week, people having uh, have falling out to each other in uh, on uh, on the dining table at Christmas, and 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 the the, the energy of the Princess of Swords who, <laughs> who who goes for the truth and the truth will come out. Um, the card um, also asks for okay where it's because it's a subconscious influence. Um, what can you bring what do you bring yourself to the situation what are you bringing to um to the christmas table and what do you bring to this this um this thing so we you should acknowledge what's playing there within you you should acknowledge that not everything is always as you hope that it is but but try to understand it try to to grasp what is playing there and why it is playing um Mercury retrograde, which is playing right now. So when you talk, talk honestly and talk clearly. Uh, but also be flexible. Don't always try to win because this is this is a, a card. A, the card of strife is is actually is about is is a lot of times is about winning, but. Um, when when you're always when you want to win all the, every conflict with every person, uh, in the end you'll end up alone. Nobody will nobody will listen to you anymore. You lose all your friends. Winning uh, can sometimes be losing if 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 you if you take it too far. Um, so focus on common goals. Focus on what do we have together. Where where can I where can I find this, this, how can I keep this friendship uh, alive? How do I keep the family together? And uh, yeah, when necessary, <laughs> see guidance, see guidance. From the past comes the hangman, talks about sacrifices, uh, the sacrifice you made, uh, the sacrifice uh, that's, that's in your life because things are not always playing out the way you want it to. Um, but it also, and that's always a very nice thing of the hangman. You can turn it around, <laughs> change perspective. And um, the hangman, of course, uh, again, um, points back to Odin, the, the, god, the, 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 the father god of the, of the Vikings, who hung himself uh, from the tree of life, for uh, for a number of days and nights, dying every night and being reborn every morning, as long, just so long until he got the wisdom of the runes. So he the runes came to him when he was hanging, and changed his perspective. So uh, go for wisdom. Uh, change the way you look at things. Use your inner wisdom. Use your inner guidance. Uh, to spirit to, to to attain spiritual growth to grow and uh be patient don't rush it that's what the hangman says be patient and then the outcome and the outcome card 
that's a card I, I pick every day in every reading. Like it's like the star, but then even better. Or it's like the ten of the ten of discs, even better. Uh, the outcome is when when you go through the process and when you end the year. The universe is also is, is an end card. It's the last card in the tarot in the in the major arcana. So there's there's no card after it. The only card that comes after it is the fool card number zero. So it's an end an end card and a begin card but it points to fulfillment and wholeness completion completion of a of a cycle obviously we we completed a cycle around the sun again so that's that's very to the point um integration of lessons so we learned a lot we gained a lot we integrate that integrate the wisdom and go from there Global consciousness, so manifesting, knowing, uh, doing stuff together. And global consciousness is what we need. Glo working together on a global scale to fix all the problems that are facing us, like, like wars, like uh, politics, like division between uh, groups of humans. We have to outgrow that. And uh, the universe card says, we're on our way. We're working towards it. And when you can, when you can integrate the message in these cards in in your life, uh, you'll be a happy person in the end, because that's what the universe card says. It integrates wholeness, completion, happy person in the new year that is to come.